just after five we're making a cuppa and then we're heading out it was a pretty good night's sleep well, actually it wasn't actually it's always a broken night's sleep but I don't know if that's from the excitement of fishing or my snoring keeping me awake we just got the jet boil on we transferred the liveys back into the live bait well Shane didn't lose our big uh, live bait the car white yeah I did <laughs> But we're up bright and sprinkly and we're going to make our way out now. Got the old jet boil on, we're going to have a Marmite scroll that old Sambo taught us, taught me about. I bought some of those Yeti cups too, they're awesome. But we've got three live baits, oh the, the Piper did not survive dude. He's even got a bend at them. <laughs> oh poor thing, oh, he'll go down for groper. Right let's go gropering. Well, we came out to the groper spot, had a couple of drops, not much going on, not a lot of sign, but we'll have a bit of a, a bit of a go around here and then maybe change tactics. Not much uh, sign on the sounder, but we'll stick it out anyway for another probably hour and a half. See how we go and then change up for probably kingies, maybe snapper. And the forecast is to get better as the day goes on, then tomorrow's even better. Predict wind saying zero to three knots on all all predictions, which is unbelievable and mill pond out here. We just parked in the inside of Stevens here. And we're just going to have a cuppa and we're chilling out waiting for the tide to change. The groper fishing was a nightmare. We lost all our sinkers and shit again. So, yeah. We might try on the change tide later on. At the last minute then, it was about 18 boats just rocked all up on us and crowded us. So we're like, ah, oh, no, let's just go. We'll wait for the tide to change and then have a jig for a king. Not with that run. Not with that run, pal. Oh, that's in case he hasn't woken up then. Oh, right. Okay. How much? All right, Shane, us it in. How much? Mate, you just do what, um. That a proper fish, eh? Try and keep on top of them for your towel. You're good? Right. <laughs> You're gonna move. Yep, that's good. Probably punch a four breath. No? Four no that way. I need. Oh, big him. Could be deceiving though, this gear <coughs> makes life worth it. How far you reckon, pal? Oh dear, mate. Try and That's a respectable kingy there, pal. Yep. What do you want me to do? So grab the grab his tail. I've got the top half. Ready? Oh. That's 
my pee big bro. <laughs> oh well, Shonos is happy. His uh, PB King. Right, Shonos, you need to decide. You want to keep it for the comp? <laughs> we'll go bigger. What do you think? Well, he's up to you, pal. You probably want to keep him, wouldn't you? Can you hold it for a sec so I can get my arm under it? Happy about that? <laughs> Alright, good shit. 20 gigs. Yep, it'd be probably a lot, yeah. Around 20. Alright. What do you want to do, bruh? The fishing's not hot enough to chuck it back and throw again, is it? Not really, no. It's awesome. We're just having a look for some fresh bait. We've still got to get bait for Groper. The plan was to get cuda, but we just can't seem to catch any cuda. So we are desperately trying to find some kawai. Might be some, oh. Right here, buddy, right here. Shane, go Shane, quick, quick Shane, Shane, go. Fish on. Shane us, good work. He's a line taker, Shane us. He's just there. Oh, look at all the krill we got in there as well. Pork crackle reload. Yep. 1048. Not much is going on actually. We went and caught some car wife, some fresh bait. Just slow jigging, trying to look for some more cooter. Got that good kingy, so that's freaking awesome. Would that be your biggest? Yeah, that's definitely my PB. It is? Yeah. No, that's cool, eh? I think 18 or 19 would have been my previous one. That'll be around, probably around 20 kilo, I would have thought, maybe a bit bigger. And we're just having some food now. Gonna make a plan of attack. We've got to go for the other species, so there's seven species, so we've got to get, we've got cod, We've got kawai, kingfish, snapper. So we've got four species. So we need to get what? Gurnard and. Gurnard. Terrakeet. So let's try and get some Gurnard and Terrakeet, I guess. Hold that up, dude. That's wicked. That's a good one. I landed it. What size? Uh, 80 centered wipes. But. Uh, value pack. Shane has just got a bloody 80 pack of baby wipes. That's good going. Shainos was getting all fired up. What did you say, Shainos? <laughs> say it. Put your rubbish in the king bin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's probably something that's been blown off or fallen off, dude, eh? Yeah, that's not blatant. Calm down, Shainos. Calm down, pal. We'll just turn around and pick it up then if it's blow off. True. What's happening, Shainos? Oh, making a plan of attack. Are we finding more bait or going to find Kuta? Kuta. Oh well, it's been pretty quiet. We decided we'd have some salmon pate and dip. Then had a bit of a jig and just managed to get a, another kingy. Here you go. A little kingy. He's probably, what do you reckon, Shanos? 16, 17 kilo? Yeah. Oh, it's alright. Put him back. Gone. I wish I hadn't done that. <laughs> now I'm drenched. Oh, it was a good fight. That was a good gun. Salmon pate and crackers. Right, she's pretty, pretty slow going. We've been battling hard for the kings, hunting and searching and live baiting and jigging and top water and slow jigging and fast jigging and every jigging but <sighs> I'm tired now after that little kingy, shameless. Come out to another spot now, we're going to have a go for Cherokee and a Gurnard because it's seven species for the comp. So we'll see what we can uh, wrangle up. 
the videoing on this is average, eh? On this trip. Yeah. I haven't done no minimal <laughs> minimal videography. That's pretty piss poor. But I'm trying to just relax and have a have a fish because I haven't been out for so long. We're having to work pretty hard for what we've got though. Yeah, we are working hard. There is a plither of boats out. Is that a word, plither? It is today. It is today. Yeah, so many boats out. But we're just tucked up into a bay here and we're gonna try for a carrot and a terrakee. Oh, look, what we got, look what we got for bait, Shane Off. Oh, <laughs> yes! <laughs> you might have to get on the net, pal. Oh. I'm on camera. Awesome. Yeah. Cheers, lads. Have you um, had a go for the sorties at all? Nah. 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 That'll be the next thing for Kaikoura, but I'd like some of those for that. Yeah, that's right. There's not much on them, eh? Like meat wise. Um, but nah, well, definitely that's going to be sick for Puka bait. Yeah. Uh, but did you try it this morning for Puka? Yeah. Yeah, it was dead, eh? Yeah, yeah. There wasn't much going on in sign and. Uh, and then within about 10 minutes, we had about 12 boats right on us. Yeah. And the same thing, we're like, couldn't be bothered. Same on the corner up here, there were probably four or five Kingies caught, and there were about 15 boats there, all set the same line. Oh, yeah. You're just going to get a giant spiny dog. <laughs> we're spiralled now. It's gone late afternoon, we're waiting for the tide to change. Shane's talking about, um, Shane's talking off putting a bait down. Chopping that Mackie we got in half and putting that on the flasher rig. I'm thinking about it. Yeah, sorry this one's not the best filming you've ever team. We're trying to actually catch fish and we're actually struggling on this one. And getting motivated to actually film while we're uh, fishing. We've got a bit of roll coming in now from the east, northeast. And it's quite... As you can probably see, quite messy. And that tide will change and then it'll get even worse. We've got, I don't know, six or seven, eight, nine, ten boats. Holy heck, a shane -offs. That's getting up now, champ, isn't it? Yeah, mate. Couple of little speed bumps. It's going to get worse as that tide changes. That's if it hasn't already started to push now. I don't know, we're not sure if we're going to stay here or what we're going to do anyway. A little bit of sign coming through, but nothing really much going on. Fishing depression has fully kicked in. What? Are you put off bait? Yeah. <laughs> we just seen a boat next to us pulling a spiny dog and they're using bait. Oh, they're struggling with it too, Shane Oz. <laughs> so he's uh, pulled out of the bait. No go. Right, Shane Oss. We need to seriously get serious about these snapper fish. Serious. Serious snapper fish catching mode. Engage. Engage. Got a sunset. We just came out the western side and we're kicking ourselves going, why didn't we come out here? There's no swell out this side. It's calm as. Met up with Vaughny, he's hooked up to a snapper at the moment. I just landed a snapper, which is probably around, or well, maybe around an eight pound snapper, but it's mint out this side, so we're gonna stick it out here and snapper fish the evening out here. But uh, fishing depression has temporarily gone. Okay. Well, I just hooked up. Me and Shane also have been smashing it, and she's pretty, pretty bean out here. But the fish are sort of around, what What would you say, 12 pounds? Yeah, 10, 8, 10, 12. I've just hooked this one, it feels freaking massive, but it's, it's either, just taken ages. It's either giant or fell hook. It's not taking any line anymore though, that's the problem, but... Oh my god! I must have been on this fish for 10 minutes. It feels like 10 minutes. Would it be 10 minutes? Yep. <sighs> We hook up at the same time. What happened then? Why is it going that way, David? Or is it a wreck like the wreck thingy? No. Neat power? Have I got like a wreck thingy? Oh my god. 
Oh, this thing got color. Oh no. It's a giant snapper fish. Oh, where's the reverse guy? I can't. Yes. Very nice. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was torturous. I, at the end, I thought it was a little kingy, and Shane Oss is like, nah, it's a big snap. And yeah, it's a it's an awesome snapper fish. We battled away and then come over the calm side and it's good. And, and me and Shane Oss are now no more spiraled into fishing depression and we are jacked up. There's a massive amount of boats on this side, but there's still a lot of is there a lot of boats on that side, Shane Oss? No, they're pretty much all cleared out now. <coughs> yeah, there's a good one. There's a good one. Yeah mate. It's Work. A He'd have to be Oh, he'd easily be over 20 pound anyway. So that's uh, entry into the comp. But uh, yeah, pretty, ha pretty happy with that. It's been awesome up here with Shane Oss. Weather's been good, it deteriorated a bit today. Let's go, let's go again, Shane Oss. Whoa, Shane Oss is in. On the drop. How's that for a sunset? Me and Shane Oss are smashing the snapper now. There's another good fish. You probably can't see him because of the light, but it is going off this evening. We struggled yesterday. He's probably around about a 15 pounder, but we've got one good fish and heaps of smaller ones, so it's pretty a pretty good arvo. We're gonna call it early actually, because we've got enough snapper. And we'll head back to the mooring and get organized, get ready for tomorrow. Pooker tomorrow is the plan. Pooker Mark 2. Pooker Mark 2. This is our last drift. Is it Shane Oss? Last, last drift. Last, <laughs> last one after the next one. We said that was our last. Oh! Oh! Shane Oss. Fish on. Fish on, Shane Oss. Right, this is our last drift. What a wicked evening. Can you get, get that big snapper too? Oh. This might be a goodie, Shane. Yes. Do you need another one? No, maybe not. Oi. No, maybe. Shane is just cooking uh, just cooking dinner. What are we having, Shane Oss? Bacon, bacon chops. We're having uh, bacon chops. We're tied up next to Vaughan, Suzanne, on uh, Savage. Vaughan's just had his sandwiches. I'll get some footage of him soon. He's been pretty happy tonight. So I'll film him in action. He'll probably just abuse me anyway. Hold off for five minutes and we'll chuck our plates across. <laughs> good luck. But pretty good day out in the water. Holy crap, it has dropped, eh? That temper. <laughs> We're just saying how um, it was quite mild before, but now that temperature's just dropped right down. And it is uh, freezing. But we're having bacon chops for tea with coleslaw and roast veggie salad. Then we're probably going to go to bed, actually. It's been a big day. Shane us with his PB Kingfish. He's pretty oh, yeah. happy about that. With us ending up with a good snapper. And all sorts of big cod. Big cod, Trevally, Cherokee, Gurnard, all sorts. 
but we're gonna have a feed and we're gonna get up bright and early so we'll see you in the morning holy crap it's cold <laughs> Jesus <laughs> like shit that temperatures dropped down Jack I want to get my gloves on again thank God for swazzy clothing Christ oh.